push it down, it locks in, push it down again, and it lowers right down to the ground. Hello YouTube, my name is Joe, and I wanna to talk to you today about the Johnson Scobich chicken tractor and this chicken lift that I built. Um, now, I, as I'm editing this video, I'm realizing that I probably should just sh talk about it because the, the video itself is pretty lengthy. Uh, I had a four-year-old helping me through this. And so I'm gonna kind of do a short video and then I'm gonna add on the rest of that video to the end, uh, just because it's, it's lengthy and I don't wanna lose people in the weeds, right? So I've been using this John Siskovich style chicken tractor for, this is my seventh season. And, uh, and it's always been a great uh, way to, it's always been a great way to raise chickens. Uh, but the, the part that I really dislike a lot is the fact that the wheels always had to mount here. Uh, you always had to lift up the weight of the tractor uh, and slip on your little wheels, or you had to have a little pry bar, or you had to do this or that. And so I saw a chicken lift system. I saw a lot of them, but I saw a chicken lift system on a YouTube video, and I just thought, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go into uh, manufacturing them, but I can build this. And so I'm just gonna show you what I have here. It's a little windy, but it is what it is, right? And so that is the chicken lift system. Um, I would, like I said, uh, I know there's companies out there that make these. Uh, I am not gonna steal their idea and market it, but I'm gonna say that if you got metal and a welder and some wheels, uh, make one your own, okay? Uh, so uh, simple system's pretty, it's pretty simple. You push on this pedal and that top little piece of metal flaps over, it gets caught, and now the chicken tractor is up off the ground in the rear a couple inches, and now I could drag it along. I come back again, I push this down, I flip that up, and, and that is it. Um, really quick push it down, it locks in, push it down again, and it lowers right down to the ground. So, uh, I thought that it was, it was worth me kind of talking about it and showing it and demonstrating it. And, uh, and now you get to watch me and a four-year-old <laughs> install it. Uh, it's gonna be pretty lengthy, but uh, that's a memory that I definitely wanna capture. Uh, oh, leave that there, buddy. Why? Why? Because I'm gonna show some people some stuff, all right? In the past, I've lifted up here. So in the past, I would lift up on this and pull the wheels off. Um, maybe you'd grab a hold of that to put it back on. Uh, eventually, I made a little pry bar and so I could come right underneath the face of it, kind of pry up on it. And that seemed to help a lot because as you're trying to manipulate that wheel, I, I just used threaded rod. Just hold on, pal. Uh, that would help kind of steady it for me, but man, you had to be on pretty good ground to do that. So anyhow, uh, we're gonna pop these wheels off and kind of show you this improvement. So this right here is my YouTube inspiration. Uh, like like so many of you guys, uh, I find something, uh, I see what the cost is, and then sometimes I just decide to make it. I definitely wouldn't steal someone's idea and market it, but I am definitely going to use an idea to make my job a little bit easier. So we need to get this centered and mounted and drill some holes. So we get that angle iron underneath there. Let's try to get this as centered as we possibly can. And we need to drill some holes, huh?
Not sure how much of that I'll put in there. Uh, I've got my, my four year old helping out and uh, you know, him holding the wrench really is, is a help, but it, it, it slows things down. But um, my other option was a pair of vice grips in the ground. So I think he was helpful even that slowed down. Uh, I'll probably throw in some of that elongated footage at the end of this video. Uh, but regardless, we've got it attached well, uh, pretty hefty fasteners. And so let's put the wheels on now, okay? Wheels are on. Put some nuts on, huh? Yeah. I'm not sure which one goes on which tire, but we will figure that out later. Right. We got little cotter pins to put in there. So, uh, this is the testing. All right, little guy, back up. Let's see, let's see if my homemade, YouTube-inspired ingenuity works, huh? Or if I gotta modify it, I might need to modify it, but let's give it a shot. All right, we're lifting up. I'll be dipped. Those are big wheels. Those are big wheels, huh? And do they clear? They do, they clear. Look at that, not by much, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So there you go, that'll give you a shadow. Let's move you over here. Um, I'm thinking that I need to, and then the idea is that you push down here, and then you, you push down, and then you release it with that lever there. that I need to cut this guy right here down. I think that we're lifted up too high, um, but uh, not too bad. Uh, if need be, I could kind of pull that up and out of the way. Uh, I will still hang on to my wheels, but there you go. And that will Not bad, not bad at all. Let's see, let's see if it rolls. Oh, we go to the other side. So that's it. Uh, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, like I said, I would never steal someone's idea and try to market it, but I will definitely steal ideas and uh, try to put them to my own use. And I, I think that that is uh, that's a pretty normal thing. Um, you know, no one would have ever uh, said, "Hey, uh, that was my idea to split firewood. You were not allowed to do that." Or uh, that was my idea to make a round wheel. You can't do that. So uh, I don't feel bad at all about taking someone's idea. I definitely won't market it. And I wouldn't even share the distances and all that because, uh, you know, uh, without a doubt, great idea. I still have to do some modifications on it. But uh, thank you, YouTube, for uh, sharing some inspiration to me. And so, uh, like I said, there is my uh, chicken tractor lift. And uh, uh, I will get some black spray paint. I'm going to spray paint that down uh, after I do that little bit of trimming on that one piece. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. Bye now.